right here with the one and only Gavin Janowski here at uh, Little Falls for the area qualifier. So talk us through your weekend. It's been quite a ride for you, it looks like. Uh, how many classes did you hit up and how many did you qualify in? Uh, I did about five classes total and I qualified in I think four out of the five. So that was a good accomplishment. First 250 area qualifier, like actual 250B classes. Pretty happy to make it in one of them at least. And the uh, youth classes did good. Made them in the top three at least. Pretty proud of myself for that. Yeah, you seem to have a lot of pressure today and yesterday for that matter. You had a lot of people like right behind you and you were at the same time while you're fighting them off trying to work your way through the pack as well. What was going through your mind in, in the sand section? Is, is sand the type of track you're normally used to or? Yeah, um, there's a lot of sand tracks down by us. So we ride those, but mainly we come up around here just to try and get used to the sand and get kind of a feel for mud too because they're so close and like styles. And like while I was riding with the guys, it was hard to keep your mind focused on just riding your own race, but I had to fight through it and do it through for that. Yeah, that's for sure because a lot of things can go through your head. You know, there's always, you know, I know from being racing too, like there's always a little bit of ego. You want to get the guy ahead of you, but at the same time, like if you're in a qualifying spot, why push it to the point where you're going to crash or something like that? Is that kind of went through your head? Like I saw you getting pretty close in the back section a couple times with different riders. But it looked like you backed down enough, but you were able to hold the line, uh, take a good line on them. Is, is that just, you didn't really care that much, or are you just like, whatever, I, I can get them in this next corner? No, I just, I knew if I waited a little bit, instead of making a sketchy move, just push it at a part where I knew I was stronger than them and make the pass. So I just kind of decided to hold off for a little bit and then go for it then. You gotta find new lines too, because last time it was, Ride my own lines and I barely just made it in until my chain fell off. Oh, yep. So let's, uh, so you're going to probably be down there for Memorial Weekend. As long as there's going to be a lot of fast guys out there. So that's yep. going to be a, a good testament to kind of gauge gauge where you want to work and where you can kind of take the advantage, you know, of them. Like if they're not good at the sand wash or maybe those downhills. Some kids don't commit, you know, throttle downhills that well. So is that going to be something kind of going through your head or are you just going to just treat it like a district race? Yeah, I'm gonna just try and ride my own race and try and uh, the weeks preparing for it, try and figure out new lines, like I said, and just kind of keep it to myself and ride with some of my friends. But that's about it. Just sounds good. So we're we're you're gonna keep it under wraps and we'll see what happens when the regional hits. So yes, sir. All right. Well, it's nice talking to you and uh, good luck. We'll probably see you in the next coming weekend. So yep. thank you.
Oh, <laughs> 